Hey guys, welcome back to Cupid's Corner. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're here to talk to you guys about post-Valentine's Day. So we know Valentine's Day is over, right? It was this Friday, and uh, you probably had the weekend with your significant other or partner, or maybe you didn't. But did you make Valentine's Day special? That's the big question, right? Of course. So there's a lot of different ways you can make Valentine's Day special with a minimum budget or a maximum budget, right? Now, Valentine's Day should be special for both of you guys, but us guys know that women, they actually take it a little bit more serious than us, right? A little bit, a little bit more sentimental about it. And even though it's a Hallmark holiday, it's been around forever, and we know that on Valentine's Day, you're supposed to do something special with your significant other, your girlfriend, your wife, fiance, whatever they may be, Mm -hmm. okay? So, What did you guys do for your Valentine's Day? Did you do something special for your significant other? Or your loved one? Did you not? Did you forget about it? It's hard to forget about because of (laughs) social media and all the other things out there that remind you of Valentine's Day, especially Hallmark holidays with the cards and everything else. So, I want to talk to you, me and Cherise, about different things you could do for Valentine's Day. Now, I want to kind of approach it from a guy's perspective because Mostly guys are doing it for girls, right? No, that is not true. Girls do it for guys too. Okay, all right. So I guess it can work both ways, and it really should work both ways because it's always a two-way street, like you've always said. Right. Both partners or both people should be working together and for each other because that's really key. It shouldn't just be about one person. It should be about both of you guys. And that's what the significance of Valentine's Day really is, I think, to me. It's two people coming together, making sure they connect on a romantic level. This could be physically or mentally. Yeah. Right? Because most guys are physically, you know, uh, that's how they ignite themselves. Uh, and stimulation wise, girls are more mental stimulation, you know. They do like visuals though. So this is where all these things come into play. So let's talk about some of the different things that you guys can do to make your Valentine's Day special next year, or you can incorporate your monthly Valentine's Day. But this is from a guy's perspective, right? Right, this is from a guy's perspective. Okay, I'll give the girl's perspective. So from the guy's perspective, listen, it's all about making them feel special. And I don't want to get too complicated in it, so let's do very simple steps. One, get them flowers. They don't have to be roses, but they can be really pretty flowers. And there's a number of different ways you can find flowers um, at the most expensive rate, or at a cheaper rate or less expensive rate, because I don't like to use cheap. So at that point, really use your resources. What's around you? Farmers markets, grocery stores. Aren't they on the side of the road too? Maybe people on the side of the road like here in Florida. (laughs) Now I've used all of these scenarios, all these different resources. (laughs) I promise you, me and Teresa have been together for over 12 years now. And at that point, I've had to come up with 12 different Valentine's days, 12 different anniversaries, you know, birthdays and stuff like this. So you really, really got to know your resources. And once you've done these things, you'll have them in your artillery to be able to use again and again and again. We can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over. No, don't become redundant. Don't do the exact same thing. Make them guess a little bit. Don't let them know exactly what you're going to do because, you know, they don't want to be predictable either. That that doesn't make it special. You want to make it special. So do little different things. So the flowers are one aspect, right? So some people, or females, might not like flowers, or males might not like flowers, you know, the couple, doesn't matter. So at that point, you can do chocolates. Now, some people might not like chocolates, like Sharice, (laughs) she's not allergic to chocolates, she just doesn't like them. It is repulsive. More for me, right? (laughs) So, uh, you know, chocolate, you know, and that's a big one for girls, you know, chocolates and flowers. So that's very simple. Or you can do one or the other, and I would recommend doing a card, and in that card, writing something special that you and only that person uh, really communicate on. So something that's special between you guys it might be an inside joke, or might be a, a cute name that you call each other, something that makes it special in there. It doesn't make it special when you just sign your name. Yeah. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> or you just let the whole card Love talk. John. The whole card talk, you know, there are some really good cards out there yeah. where they just say everything that you wanted to say, which is kind of nice because you're like, oh my goodness, this is exactly what I want to tell you and this is exactly how I feel. Yeah. But even if it is like that, still put your little, you know, touch in there and make sure that you make it personable so that way they understand that you did take the time to actually put something in the card versus just, you know, lick, seal, slap it and put it on their desk or whatever. That's what makes it really special to them, okay? And you can also buy them a gift, all right? So buying a gift that might go a little bit more extreme, all right, as far as your budget. 
So you can do that. You can take them out to a nice dinner. You can incorporate all of these things and make it very special, mm -hmm. okay? Or you can make it simple and special. By the means of simple and special, let's say you're not working with a big budget. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. So what do you do? There's one thing you can do that's gonna make it very special. And that is, is cook them dinner at home. You can go out, you can get these things from the grocery store. It's very inexpensive to do. Buy some candles, make it romantic, dim the lights, find somebody to be able to watch the children if you guys got kids mm -hmm. um, or you have other duties. Take the night off from your work or try to make time during, you know, the non-work hours. It's not that, I mean, we're not talking like your six hour time frame here, guys. We're talking about like an hour, you know? You're, you're taking Two off an hour. An hour for dinner or whatever yeah. it may be. So you're making that time and you're devoting that time to the significant other and making it feel special. Now, even with me and Sharice's case, so Valentine's Day was Friday. So we couldn't do our Valentine's Day on Friday, so we did it on Thursday. The reason is, is because our Plus son- smart. Our son has two football games back to back on Valentine's, on Valentine's Day. Day night. Yeah. This is a Friday night. Who does okay? that? I mean, seriously, who you know, does that? These coaches or the, the league must not have been thinking that Valentine's Day, I guarantee it wasn't a woman running this, this, this league, okay? <laughs> because she wouldn't have been going for that. But so you have to work around these exactly. different things. So if you have to work around them, do that to make it special. They won't care if it's one day in advance. Mm -hmm. They just don't want it one day afterwards. Always yeah. to be there before than afterwards, yeah. okay? because then you forget. Yes, so the dinner special. The next thing is, is the bedroom, okay? Yeah. Or wherever you guys might get physical. Kitchen, make laundry it, room, well, I, make washer, it, dryer. Make it romantic, per se. You know, draw a bath <laughs> up, put some candles out. Use those flower <laughs> petals, you know, spread them on the bed. That's a good one. You know, do yeah. something like that. Make, make it something special. Something they might see and they might, oh my God, you know, I've never had this done for me. And that's a first time experience, which will stick with that person forever. So don't make it a bad one. You know, first impressions are usually the lasting impressions. So at that point, if you can make it really good, they're always gonna think of you and that's how, man, I'm Valentine's Day, wow, you know? So these are the things that I would do as a male and these are some of the tips and tricks. Now, this is, I think this is more dominant in Valentine's Day, but I want to hear this perspective from a female version, so let's hear what Sharice has got. <laughs> guys, it's pretty simple for the guys. Um, I know that, you know, they're a little bit harder, and we all, always go to, like, the socks and the underwear, get them something, you know, one of the cute little underwears that they sell at, you know, the store with a little Valentine's Day on it and the little hearts, because that's always cute. But obviously, like John said, you know, a dinner, anything like that, one thing I have done for John, I've done it on a couple different occasions, and this is really cool because, you know, we didn't always have this wonderful abundance of money and comfortable, um, you know, feelings here. But I mean, as far as getting something where it's in your budget. So what I did was I put together a collage of pictures with me and him, right? And what I did is I took that and then I went to CVS, or it was Walgreens, one of the places, I know they both do it, and they have this little photo booth thing, right? You just go there, it's like 15 minutes it takes you to do, right? You go in there, plug in your phone, you're able to print it out. Then you just get a frame for it, and then when you frame it, you put on there, you know, whether it's Happy Valentine's Day 2020, you know, or maybe it's Happy Father's Day, or something like that, and I mean, we're talking like a $10 gift, but you put your, like time and thought process Definitely. into it to really think about it. Like you've picked out these really, really nice photos to put together as a collage. And you know, something like that can be super sentimental. And you know, it's something that you put thought process behind. I'm huge into putting thought processes into, you know, gifts and that kind of thing. It could be $5 or it could be $500. It could be a $500 gift and you put zero thought process into it and it's irrelevant mm -hmm. because I feel like you just did it just to do it. Now, John's never done that, hence the reason we're still married for 12 years. But I'm telling you, you know, majority of you guys out there, I know sometimes people just want to get the job done and be done with it. But if you just put even a little bit of thought process behind it, it's it could be really, really nice. Now, guys, yes, I will agree with John. It is a you know dominant thing that women, it's their holiday, let's say, and they're usually expecting dinner, flowers, sometimes lingerie. Now that's for the guys, okay? Don't think for one second when they bring home their little Victoria's Secret bag that they're bringing it home for you because you were just 
such a great white but girlfriend. But honey, I thought you looked so cute in this. That's why I want to get it for you. AKA, go put it on and we'll have dinner while you're sitting in it. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, guys. The best thing you could do, honestly, is, I mean, let's be real. You know, sexual things, they go a long way. So putting on a nice outfit or being sexy that night for your husband, fiance, boyfriend, your one night stand, whatever it might be, um, you know, it does go a long way and, you know, you can have fun too while you're at it. But yeah, I would say those are the very simple things that you can do. And those things, sometimes you have outfits that are in your closet or your drawer that you haven't touched in years because you've been busy or maybe you just haven't been busy. <laughs> so it's just hanging out in your drawer. But anyways... Grab it, put it on, surprise them with it. You know, just try to make sure it comes from deep down within and not have it be so shallow just because it's a holiday, you know? Another thing, you know, that I would recommend, you know, for some people out there, because, uh, you know, we have tight medical center, is the libido enhancement or bedroom, you know, igniting therapies that we have for mm -hmm. males and females. Mm -hmm. So both you guys can perform your very best. You guys can give the ultimate satisfaction and pleasure to your partner. Because then that night, you know, you probably want to do your best or make them think that you're a superhero in the bedroom or, you know, Wonder Woman, per se. Or, uh, you know, and there's a lot of different things you guys can do. But it's all about bonding. You know, we know that mental, mentally you want to have that love there, right? But physically you want to have it too. And, and some people have different, you know, um, restrictions or ways, you know, that they can show uh, physical love. But, hey, listen, why not be your best? And you might not need it, per se. But if something can make you better, hey, listen, for one night or two nights or whatever it may be, that might be a game changer for the relationship and ignite uh, other things or stimulate the relationship in ways that you never thought you could possibly do. So I know, agree. These are different things. And Tight Medical Center can help you out with that. So if you guys want any help with libido enhancers going forth uh, for males or females or bedroom igniters or enhancements, give us a call or text at 727-389-3220. So we really want to go over Valentine's Day stuff with you guys. So you guys had some tips and tricks in your artillery. And you guys can use these tips and tricks any day of the year. Exactly. Okay? It doesn't have to be on Valentine's Day. We're just giving you some highlights because Valentine's Day just passed and we thought we'd bring it up. But use these going forward in the future and I promise it will help your relationship in a lot of different ways. Okay? So I appreciate you guys tuning in for another Cupid's Corner. Do you have anything else to add, Cherise? Nothing. I just, he's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I got the most beautiful angel next to me. Thank God. <laughs> so we want to appreciate and thank you guys for tuning in again to Type Medical Health and Lifestyle Show, Cupid's Corner, our segment, every Sunday, 11 a.m. We'll see you guys next Sunday. See you there. Catch you there.